everyone. Today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys how I do my eye planner page, which is a digital um, planner that I use in GoodNotes. Um, but I'm just going to quickly show you. There are a couple ways you can do this. You can do it one way in GoodNotes, um, but you can also use Keynote to create your planner page. And so you have everything as one picture when you add it into GoodNotes. Um, and then if you don't want to do it that way, like I said, you could do it in GoodNotes so you can move any of your pictures around or your images that you put on your planner page. But like I said, I'm just going to show you how I do it in Keynote. So I'm going to open up Keynote and as you can see, I have, um, a, um, I don't know what they would call it, but a slideshow of the images that I'm going to use and these are from Etsy I think so what I'm going to do is I already imported my planner page that I'm using and the background I created all of that already in Procreate and I will have a video showing you guys how to put a image on your planner page and have it as one image instead of two separate images in Procreate. I will have that up hopefully before this video. If not, it will be after. Um, so you guys can check that out and learn how to do that for yourselves. And and also in that video, I told you that I had I have the iPad Pro. This is the 256 gigabyte and it is the rose gold if you guys were wondering. And yes, I do have the Apple Pencil. Um, but anyway, so I already imported my planner page and all of that and cropped it down so it's just my actual planner page and not like the white borders or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is go up here to the paintbrush, click on arrange, and I'm going to lock this down so I can't move it when I'm adding all of my stickers in. So the first thing that I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to, um, with the horizontal, I haven't really planned horizontal, so you guys will be learning with me as well. Um, I think what I'm going to do is do the washi first. So I'm going to copy this page, and you see these blank pages after every, um, planner sticker set that I have and that purpose is for so I can copy um, I can click on this and copy it so I don't disturb the main file and I'm going to click on the second page below it and I'm going to click on paste so now what I can do is um, oh let's click on I need to work with the bottom washi so I'm just going to copy and paste so now what i can do is double tap on the image and i can resize this box to fit just the washi tape and you can also before that so let's say let's just un undo this you can make your page like really really big just so you can work with it a little better um and i'm going to zoom out a little and now double tap and now I can resize it and zoom back in if I want to just so I know exactly where I'm at and what I'm doing. Um, let's move my page up a little. I have to zoom back out just a little. Now zoom back in. I mean you do not have to do this if it is too much for you to remember. Um, but I just like doing it just so I can see better and exactly where my lines are going to be and all of that. So, there is that. And then there you go. There is your washi. Um, so, I'm going to zoom back out a little. And what I'm going to do is copy this. And then I'm going to go back to my planner page. And I'm going to click on paste. And as you can see, it is just that picture. If you double tap on that picture, it will bring up your full page again. Um, but it will still be cropped to the size um, that you cropped it to previously. Um, so what you, and that way it's, it's good in a way 
And I will let you know um, in just a minute why that is actually good. So what I'm going to do is just crop it down to um, whatever size I need it or size it down. And like I said, with uh, this, it will keep the ratio a aspect of it. Um, so let's just say I want it like that. So what I'm going to do is with this is copy and you have to click on a the white space on the outer part for you to paste it again. And I'm just going to paste it back in like that. And so say you have a different style planner or the, say you have the vertical one. Um, or I don't know, I honestly don't know where I'm really going with that. But say you have the vertical one, um, they do have different size aspects, you know, for your planner page. You can even make thin washi strips with this. Um, all you have to do is just double tap on it again so you get, you know, your box pulled back up. And you can resize it down to the size that you need it and then click done. So there's you a smaller washi strip that you can paste over your, like as a header or anything like that. So I'm going to resize this back up. Um, and you do not have to add, the, you know, add this at the top. You can just add these as washi strips or as like a filler, you know, for something. So let's just, let's see. I'm going to delete one and double tap on this image. Like I said, this is new to me too. So you guys are learning with me um, because I have not planned horizontal style uh planning so this is also new to me so you're learning with me um and i'm just trying to get this exactly how i want it you can also resize it a little bit so it fits a little better in your box so let's say right let's say right there and i can copy this and then like I said you do have to click on a a white space for this to actually paste because you did lock your image but if you didn't lock your image I'm sure you could paste it that way as well but I didn't want my planner page to actually move so I'm just going to leave it you know like this um and you do not have to do this for the full um full um header whatever these little black things are whatever you want to call them um you can leave them black if you want and gee i mean just play around with it and see how you like it but like i said i have not planned this way at all so um let's see if i can maybe get all these copied at once and how you can copy multiple things is you click on one image and you hold, keep your finger on that, you like hold your finger on that image and then you take your other hand and you tap on each image that you want to select and then let off with your first finger, if that makes sense at all. Um, and then you can click copy and then click paste and it will paste all four of the or all the images that you have selected and it will paste or, and it will paste all four of them. So there's that. Now what I'm going to do is let's see if there's anything else that I want to use from here right now. And I don't see anything else I want to use at the moment. So I'm just going to click off that one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my to do or yeah, my to do headers. So what I'm going to do is copy that one and paste it into my second one. And this is probably going to be quite a long video. So just bear with me. So I'm going to crop this or this one down get these little lines okay now as you can see I am cropping my to-do header 
Well, if I can stop moving the picture and just the little blue dots, there we go. And I am using my Apple Pencil for this, just to make it easier. So now that I have my to-do header cropped, I'm going to click on it. Sometimes you do have to zoom back in to click on it because they are so small. And, or you can zoom, uh, once you get it cropped, you can zoom it wider. Um, and that will also make your page wider if you double tap back on your header. It will also make your page wider. So just be aware of that. Um, and then I'm going to click back on my planner page and click paste. And now I can resize this to whatever size that I want it. If I want it to be a little bigger, I can make it a little bigger. If I wanted it smaller, I can make it smaller. It's just whatever your preference is, you know, just do it that way. So now let me go ahead and get my little uh, check boxes if I can find them. Um, there we go. So I'm just going to take my to-do header again, double tap, and go to the um, check boxes. And now all I have to do is just resize it to whatever, whatever check boxes that you are doing. I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste. And as you can see, that is really, really big. Um, so just resize it down to fit in your planner page. Um, let's say I want it that size. So now you can see that my actual to-do box is a lot smaller than my header. So now all I have to do is just click back on my header and resize it down to sort of fit and then... Um, See, do it this way and then move my whoops move my header down some and this is not going to be perfect whatsoever um, because it is kind of hard to get the right um, the right aspect of it or the ratio of it um, so it is a little hard to do it this way. Like I said in a previous video, I don't know if, I can't remember if I said it in this one or not. Um, if you have your, if you have a Mac or even um, a PC, if you get the Silhouette Studio software, what you can do is resize your pictures um, horizontally or vertically. Um, so that way it will fit perfectly in your planner. Um, and in this key, in keynote this way it keeps it locks your as, aspect ratio for some reason I'm having trouble saying that um, so no matter which way you size it it's going to be the exact same um, height and width as your original picture if that makes sense but like I said in um, silhouette studio you can change those you can unlock it and change the sizing of your image um, so I do like it for that but if you are on the go you still can create your planner pages but it is just a, a little bit harder to work with but you can do it it is doable let's just say that so let's just say I like it like that um, and then I'm going to show you oops don't want to click out of it um, let's just say you wanted this weekend banner right here. So what I'm going to do for this, so I don't have a white background around it, what I'm going to do is click on the paintbrush at the top. I'm going to click on image and then I'm going to click insert alpha. And then I'm going to go to the outer page. And then as you can see, air all this white around all the pictures are selected and then you click done and so now you can see I'll show you um, 
Now you can see the white background down at the down here at the bottom. You can see the white background is gone. So now your image so now when you like double tap on your image and you resize it down to whatever you need it. Um let's resize it down to there. Zoom in. And let's see. And then we click done. I will add in just a quick, um, let's see, where is it? Oh, there it is. We will add in a quick box and I'm going to send it to the back. I know this is probably really confusing, I'm sorry. And now you can see that there's a blue background as I move the box. So that way it's kind of like a PNG, so there's no background. To it when you add it to your planner page and this is the reason why I like using Keynote but you still can use Keynote to take out the background and then copy this and then you would import it to or um, just open up your GoodNotes app and just paste it onto your GoodNotes page um, that way so and I will do another video showing you guys how to do it in GoodNotes um, but right now I'm just kind of showing you just different ways you can do it and all of that. So I'm going to click on paste and as you can see, there is my weekend header. So what I'm going to do is turn it like this, since this is a vertical planner page. And I'm just going to resize it like that. See if I can get this just right. There we go. So now this is on actually that's not the weekend. This is the weekend because the bottom one is actually the little notes section. Or you can set it as like a master to-do list for that week or anything like that. You just plan however you plan. So that's how you do that. Um, and then say you want to add these little day uh, headers or the day of the week headers, whatever you want to call these. So I'm going to just zoom in on it. And you can always move your picture around as well. Um, and with this, or if you do it on the computer on Keynote, it, you can resize your picture. But for some reason in the app, you just can only resize this box for some reason. So I'm going to copy that one. Go back to my planner page and, oops. Click on a white space, and then there is my little today box. And you can also rotate this to put it this way. Um, and let's put it there. So now you, it's Monday, and then in the little white box, you can put what actual day it is and all of that. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much how you do it all. I mean, with all of it, you can just resize your box um, or double tap on your image to resize your box and then just get whatever that you are wanting so I'm just going to say this hydrate sticker I want it um, and click done and then you always have to copy it once you're done and then I'm going to paste it in the little notes section and it's a this would be used for a, light, a lot like your sidebar. If you had the vertical one, you can add in your hydrate stickers and all of that. Um, and this video is very long already. So I hope this kind of helps you on how I do my planner pages. I will show you what my current week looks like, which that's not my current week. This is what my current week looks like. So if you just mess around with everything, um, you can really make your planner page look like a actual hard book planner page um, instead of a did, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, so if you do not want to go out and buy all the planner stickers because they can get quite pricey for one week worth of stickers, um, you can do it digitally, so you, all you have to do is buy on Etsy if you want to buy the printable version of stickers. 
um, and then just import them into your uh, photo library or wherever you want to or even on your iCloud and use them that way. And then the next video I will show you how to uh, do some of the stuff in GoodNotes. So I hope you guys like this video and if you do have any questions please feel free to ask me and I will do a video on it if you would like me showing you how to do it exactly or if just me texting it to you will kind of help explain it then just just let me know and thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!